before we proceed, are you fed up with being told things that you already know? Do you feel a frustration with things that you have tried yet have been unsuccessful with, but you are being advised to do them? Does a compliment come across as, well, of course I can do that. What do you expect of me? Then please consider if this session is for you. It may be of value. It may reinforce frustrations or it may be something you have talked about enough. Whatever you decide, thank you for your time. May we wish you well and say that there is help available. Right. Now, feel like your skills and expertise are not cutting through. Sense that your position application is lacking resonance. Do you consider that your practitioner and professionalism is lost within keyword searches and technical or consulting speak? Perceive that your messages are missed by those reviewing and screening applications? Then please spend a few moments here. Now, there is much good advice on job hunting, hiring processes, resumes, interview techniques, and more already provided. Guidance on mentoring, networks, and relationships is also included, all of which provides a valuable resource. Where this short contribution differs from other information sources is in trying to help with a varying approach to circumstances coming from a business practitioner perspective and having worked in hiring worked with recruiters and been in the hiring process a range of pragmatic practical expertise is bought the takeout message is may some of the aspects of this session help you with any frustrations you have with the hiring process. Let's get into it. Handling frustration, managing through behind the scenes. Now, this session is not intended as advice for managing stress, difficult life situations, or similar. We can suggest approaching the relevant sources for help. This session is about some pragmatics that can be used within the hiring process. Please remember that applicants, as well as those in the hiring process, can get frustrated with the process. Sustaining. Part of the frustration is sustaining the effort within the hiring process. This is particularly the case for applicants receiving the no. Part of it is consistency and persistency. But, like sports training, the regime needs to be revised and the game plan varied according to circumstance, so it is with applications. The pause. Addressing frustration sees the need to step back to take time out and have other activities to bring balance. Again, this mirrors the sporting analogy and experience. Repositioning. From time to time, the game plan is changed and revisions made. Feedback and review is part of the process. Just as skill mixes are varied, so should the audience, the skills and expertise, and the targeting within the hiring process. A focus on transferable skills and bringing them to different areas may be a consideration. Support. In all of this, it is easy to feel alone and isolated. The reals. Even if we are uncomfortable of acknowledging and using. 
depersonalize. This is a difficult area as a stream of no becomes personal with an accumulative sense. The aspects are best managed behind the scenes. The main theme is persistency and consistency with variation to circumstance. Seek help and support and do things to help like mentoring others. We wish you well in the management behind the scenes. May this session be of value. Please remember that you are not alone and that there is help and support, even though we may find it difficult to ask. Thank you for your time. Please share with others. Feel free to subscribe and add your comments.